Geyer? First of all, what question is that? Stay with me though first. You're getting into the moves already, right? What is our strategy for today? Well, we can connect with you too. Make, yeah, make connections between the evidence and the question. So that should be on your so long. And when I say connections, what two types of connections have we mostly been making? Raj, can you go down my room? How What types? I heard one, Jay, one. Connection um, anchor chart in the back reminding us that text to text is anything that we've read so far, and text to self connections are could be to your background knowledge or words that you know. Okay. All right. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to model how to use these strategies using this text here. Little things are big. This was the first nonfiction text that we've read. So I'm going to model it. As I'm modeling, I want you to track me closely. So you're going to write anything that I write on the text. And if I make a move, I want you to write it in the box over here. So if you notice me doing something, like that ear jumps my moves over here, he noticed me doing something, that's what you would write in this box. Anything that I annotate in the text or in the question choices, I want you to annotate as well in your paper so you have a model. Because you are going to use the same strategy. Um, with multiple choice questions on the next test. Okay? So, pens are in hand. I'm going to zoom out for a second. Pens are in hand, and we're ready to track me as I model how to use today's strategy. Thank you guys for being ready. All right. So, <clears throat> I look at my text, and I notice down the bottom that there's two multiple choice questions. And I know that good readers always read the questions before they go into the text. So I'm going to read and annotate my questions first and see what they're asking. So I look at the first one. It says, which statement best identifies the central idea of the text? I know the central idea is what the author is saying. And just for time purposes, and because we already read this text, I'm just giving you the answer. It is A, that you should always help others regardless of how they may react. That was the central idea for this little things are big text. So everyone should have what I annotated up here in your A circle. Thank you guys for tracking along. Tracking me by writing what I'm writing. Come here, get with me. Okay. Now I see there's a part two to this question. It says, which quote from the text best supports the answer to part A? When I see best supports, I know that I have to choose the best option, not just the good option, right? So I know that this question is asking me good versus better, or good versus best. And the answer to part A was my central idea. So I'm looking for the piece of evidence that best shows that this is the central idea of the test. Yeah. All right? Hold on. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to use my strategy of making connections between the evidence that's given and the central idea statement up here. All right, and I'm going to annotate my text to show that I'm making those connections. So, number, I'm going to read letter A first. Perhaps the lady was not prejudiced at all. If you were not that prejudiced, I failed you, dear lady. So I'm looking back up at my central idea statement. I'm keeping that in my mind, and it says always help others, so I know how to do with helping, regardless of how they may react. So there's a helping piece here and a reaction piece. And I look here, the lady was not prejudiced. That is a reaction, right? That could connect here to a reaction. She was not prejudiced. And if you were not that prejudiced, I failed you. And I know when he says I failed you, that he's talking about not helping her. So I think A does connect in some way because it has the helping and the reaction. I want to make sure that it's the best answer though, so I'm going to put a little question mark there. I'm not going to mark it wrong. I see some connections. Is that where you want to have the white lady on the train? Oh, yeah. Okay, now look at B. 
Courtesy is important to us Puerto Ricans. And here I was, hours past midnight, and the white lady with the baby in her arms, a suitcase, and two white children, badly needing someone to help her. Again, this does have a connection to the central idea because it talks about helping. I know that courtesy, helping someone is showing courtesy. It doesn't mention always helping others, though. In this case, I think he's trying to say that he didn't help her. So I don't think B is the right answer. I'm going to hold on to A still, and I'm going to read C. So here is the promise I made to myself back then. If I'm ever faced with an occasion like that again, I'm going to offer my help regardless of how the offer is going to be received. So I'm looking for some connection. Offering your help definitely has to do with this. Always helping others. And regardless of how the offer is going to be received, I know that that is a reaction. So I didn't think B was right. I was stuck between, now I'm stuck between A and C. And when I look, C has really clear connections to both pieces of the central idea. More clear than A does, because A doesn't necessarily talk about always helping others. So C is my best option. So I'm going to circle C as my correct answer. I'm going to do a quick lap and make sure that you have all the annotations that I have on the board so you have a really clear model to use when you go to practice the strategy on your own. Good job, I see Ka has them. Sadiq's getting his now. Okay. So now let's try to make ourselves a little checklist for how to use this strategy. What was the, so I'm gonna write my checklist up in this box up here in the right. So what was the first thing that I did in order to use this strategy of making connections? Is that your? Very good, yep. So you figure out what the question is asking. You want to make sure that you're annotating that. You have to annotate it like a text, right? So you can say, oh, I know what the question's asking. No. Um, you figure out what the question's asking. The way that you figure that out, or the way that you show me that you figured it out, is that you have to annotate it. You can rewrite the question in your own words. You can circle and, and define some of the words within it, but you have to make sure that you're showing me that you understand what that question is asking. What does that say? Fantasy. Okay? If you don't do this, you can't get credit. All right, what was the next thing that I did? So I hear the question is today. I'm going to try to see if somebody else knows. What's the next move? So once I figured out what my question was asking, and I annotated it, then what? Jay? Um, you can look for word, word phrases that connect the question. Good, yeah. Then I want to make sure that I am making connections between the question and in this case, it was the central idea, but the question and the evidence that is provided to me. Okay? And what types of connections did I make? Mostly text to text in this case, right? I connected to what I knew earlier in the text. Making what? Text to text connections. What? You could also make text to self. But in this case, I only mean text to text because it might be something, a word that you know. And that's not really text to text, that's text to self. Okay? Once I show all my connections and I make all my connections, thanks. Um, what's my next move? What's my last thing? Okay? Yeah. What's my next move? Once I have all my connections made, how do I know which is the best? Samir? Because you know, uh, when, uh, whichever one like, has the most uh, evidence. Not the most evidence, no, the most but the most what? The most connections and uh, mm -hmm. uh, central idea. Yeah, choose the answer with the most connections. 
right? You have to make sure that the connections are to each part of the central idea. It can't just be one piece, right? You can have three connect. All right, so anyway. You have to make sure it has the most and the clearest connections between that, at that answer and that question. We're going to take a quick lap and make sure everyone's copied that checklist. You're going to need that checklist in order to practice today's strategy. All right, so now we're going to jump in and you guys are going to try this on your own. All right? So I want you to turn to the passage inside your text. I mean the passage inside your handout. All right? This is the passage from the, the last passage that we read last week. All right? From the sit-in movement. In the margin in the boxes, I gave you notes for it just to remind you, but what we need to do, what any good reader does, is they read the questions first.